guys. Hey guys, welcome to Twice Blessed. I am Beck and this is Marissa. Marissa. And today we are doing a luxury tags video. Yay! So um, if you want to see more of this kind of content or you like it, give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below. And so let's get into it. Okay, the first question we have is what was your first designer piece? Um, I'll go first because yes. I can just remember it. <laughs> um, so my first set of purchase was my Valentino open sneakers. They're really grubby now because I've had them for about a, a year, maybe. So probably a bit more than a year. So I bought them for, from Farfetch at the time, and I think they were six hundred and eighty dollars or seven eighty Australian dollars. Um, I thrashed them. I really loved them, and I was kind of hesitant for the start. And everyone was like, "Don't buy them. They're so expensive for sneakers." But I love. We wear. We love sneakers, and we wear sneakers quite a lot. So for me, it was a really good investment. And yeah, that was it. I loved them. And mine, mine was actually probably before Beck got hers. Mine was, was May last year. year. Yeah, May last year for Fashion Week. In and where right, or Melbourne Fashion Week? No, it was, it was actually probably like December. So it was then. Yeah, it was this, this year. Yeah. yeah. Really? Yeah, it was. So I got mine from Barbara as well, and mine was the Givenchy Pandora bag with the silver studding. Um, I got discounted off it as well because my friend had a voucher. So I think it ended up coming down to around six hundred dollars, which I thought was such a big purchase at the start, but now at our other purchases, probably it's pretty insignificant. Probably on the smaller end of the scale, but yeah. it's such a great bag, and I love it a lot. Still fresh it. Yeah, I love it all the time. Yeah. Second question is, what do you do? You consider your best investment? For me, I think when you guys probably seen it all over our Instagram page, yeah. when we were in London, I bought my Gucci Dionysus. Um, it's in the larger size in the black suede. And since that day, I've probably worn it like every other day. Yeah, so not for the last few months, it's been getting too warm. But yeah. like for, I think from London, which is what, September mm -hmm. the 1st until November the 20th, it was like every, single, it every day. single day. And, and it's just kind of sat there for a bit. It's really like hold it held up really well considering it's suede and I left my it. I left my bottle of water open one day and I can't see through. It's done fantastically. And um it's probably best invest just because it's a classic to staple and I've worn it so much as well already. So cost per wear it's already like insignificant. Yeah. How much was it myself? Oh, it was well in Australian it equated to about three thousand two hundred dollars, but because I got it in London it was a um, dollar was really strong. A dollar was, was like just strong. after the Brexit had occurred. So yeah, a dollar was a lot stronger, and we got the VAT tax back. Yeah, so I ended up spending I think around two thousand two hundred dollars with the tax back and everything. So I actually really saved a considerable about considerable amount of money. Classic so, female thing. I saved money. I saved money by buying it elsewhere. <laughs> yeah. So I've got two really great investments. One um, is my Chloe Susanna boots, which everyone knows, and they're covered everywhere. We'll put a little photo in, yes, somewhere maybe over my face. I don't know. Um, and then. Also, these, okay, so I've wanted these for so long, and I got them again in London as well, because of the price and the VAT tax back, which are my Valentino Rockstud flats in the black patent with, like, this sort of gunmetal hardware. Yeah. Um, I've wanted these for, like, four or five years. I've wanted them for a really, really long time, but never saw the reason why I'd spend, like, $1,400 in a pair of flats when I really hate flats, unless they're sneakers, so... For me, I um denied about them for ages. There was a pair on I think Stylebop, which had them for a really, really cheap in comparison. That David Jones, they're like sixteen hundred dollars Australian, but Stylebop had them for a thousand. Not sure why. Like they're the exact same pair of shoes, sure same like product code and everything. I think they just had them cheap because they had no imports or something like that. Yeah, um, probably. But then I ended up buying them um, from Selfridges in London. Same way Marissa bought her. Did you get your dinner from there as well? Yep. Yeah, so we both got our same our bags from there. So we um, went to the shoe hall, which if you haven't been to the shoe oh hall, gosh, it's, it's amazing. It's like heaven. <laughs> like if you're shoe people, you're pretty much walking through like the gates through heaven. That's amazing. It's like there's halos and there's like lights and all. There's got different rooms that all have different vibes. Like the way I got the Valentino is like this big open like spanning area with a circular like cage around it where all the shoes display. It was beautiful. Oh, so amazing. Um, and so these were, I think, ugh, 700 or 680 pounds, which converted roughly to like 1100 or $1,200 at the time. And then you got your VAT tax. Then you got my VAT tax bag as well. So it came down Just 20%. In yeah, 20% in the UK. So then it came down to, I think, like $800 or like maybe not. Oh, no, sorry. Maybe like. Nine hundred fifty dollars Australian. Yeah, my math is really bad, and we weren't really paying attention because I was just like, "Why?" I spent too much money. I just wanted them so badly, and they were so much cheaper than we were in Australia. So I bought them. I haven't worn them as much as I probably would have liked to, but I think these are one of those shoes that 
They'll last. They have time. the longevity and they're going to last six years plus. So yeah, I know I'll agree. wear them when I'm a little bit older. It's actually kind of like a bit more like a work issue but without high heels. So yeah, I agree. So question number three is what is your criteria when looking to buy a piece? Um, so we did a recent blog post actually in collaboration with Louisa V. Roma. If yeah. you don't know what they are, um, what they are, it's kind of similar to Farfetch or Netta Porter. Um, they're, they're based in Italy and they do obviously luxury goods. And we work with them just, and we spoke about it on our blog post, which I will link below, about tips for buying luxury pieces as a first time yeah. buyer. And I think for us definitely it's about longevity and mm -hmm. it's about if it actually fits that wardrobe. Yeah. So I think we're quite simplistic in our dresses. We wouldn't buy a really crazy colour bag. I think or... also for your first piece, it's always smart to go for something that you know you get a lot of wear out of. Yes. And we always gotta go off like the cost per wear sort of thing. So if it's say if you're buying like a two thousand dollar bag, how many times will you have to wear it to make it worthwhile for you? So for us, like when Marissa bought her, her Dinos's bag, it was a lot more expensive than she thought it would be. Like she left selfish and she's like, that was more than I thought it was gonna be. But she wore it for three and a half months every day. And if I put the value of, of hiring it once at a hundred dollars, how long will it take me to actually pay it off? Pay it off in terms of cost per wear. Yeah, I think first of all, like we then we are quite simple now, we are quite monochrome in our dressing most of the time in our everyday life. So for us, we'd always go for a black or a staple yeah, colour like a nude. nude. Yeah. I think because the versatility for it to match a lot of things is a lot easier and you have more flexibility with matching things. So yeah. that's always this our number one tip is just to go with things that suit your wardrobe. If you love colour and you're vibrant get a beautiful pink or a, yeah. a blush color that can match a lot of different tones as well. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So question number four is what has been your stupidest slash most regrettable purchase? And we're quite lucky because we so should, sad. yeah, we're quite lucky because we generally share the cost of a lot of our luxury goods. Yeah. Not a lot, but some of them. Um, but this would be Beck's worst buy because she bought it by herself. I know your worst buy, but you didn't have them here. Which ones? We'll get oh to that. yeah, maybe my sunglasses. Yes. So my worst buy is really sad because at the time I was like, this is gonna be the best purchase ever, and it was a on the Gucci train. <laughs> on the Gucci train, my first Gucci purchase, and it was the Gucci loafers with the horse fit detail. These ones. Oh shivers. These ones, I know. I think as well, if they were the higher height, they're so cool. You definitely, have I one. love the way they look, and I love the way. People style them. However, I just feel really clumpy when I wear them. Yeah. I think because we're quite curvy, not quite curvy, but like we're like a bit curvy in our, our hips and our stuff, it makes me feel chunkier. Yeah. Because they're quite petite shoes and not really like sturdy. And I feel like I don't like, because we can be quite tanned, I don't like putting it with pale skin. I feel like it washes me out even more. Yeah, so definitely. I have to be really tanned and I have to have a bit having a skinny day. And yeah, I think if you got them in the gold and the high heel, you would have worn them more so, but I think they're, I feel very, like they don't ill get my legs. They're not very practical for our lifestyle. Yeah, they're, no, they're practical, they just don't ill get my legs. So I think, unfortunately, that is the worst sad. purchase. And my worst purchase would 100% be my um, my Dior So Real sunglasses. I think they're so oh, real. Oh, those ones. I was say your um, was from Athens. Oh, no. I was saying my Dior So Real I think they're so shady ones. They were, they were like seven hundred dollars. They were so every they were so expensive. When you expensive. came home, you're like, I bought some sunglasses. I was like, how much were they? She got like seven hundred. I was like, I, is yeah. that a joke? It was. I mean, I have definitely worn them, but they're just because they're mirrored. They're really quite delicate, and mm. I think, I'm scared they're going to they're going to scratch. I don't and wear them. You can't wear them for photo shoot because one will be like yeah. gold, and the other one will be like green. Or one like color of the background. It's so. really frustrating. But yeah, yeah. No good. Um, question five: If you sold any of your luxury goods, have you ever had sellers regret? I um, haven't sold them. No, yet. I'm trying to sell the Gucci shoes. Please buy them. Yeah, if you so want. So, we're going to link our carousel account below, which we're selling all our stuff. So, it's not a lot of design stuff. We've got like High Street and like Cameo, all those brands. So, plus these shoes. Yeah, so please buy them. Yeah, please. Agreed. Um, question number six What piece do you think everyone needs should have? Um, I think 100% everyone needs a pair of designer sunglasses and yeah. these ones here are kind of like the don't look at me, the, the Celine, I can't remember the style name, I'll link it below. They're like the F off sunglasses and the most polite way when you're having a bad hair day and bad face you want to cover everything. Or like you're at the airport and you're like nobody look at me like I'm just like I'm just all sunglasses. These are the best ones to get. Yeah. Um, but even still yeah a pair of designer sunglasses is a good entry level price point or even I said our belts like our Gucci belts. A good entry level price point for first time luxury buyers, but yeah. also they can go with anything, they can last forever. Yeah. They're not as necessarily trend based, they're just more so a style, and they style on your face. Yeah, exactly. Um, for me, I haven't got it here because I am purchasing it. It is the YSL um, card holder. 
So it's just like a like a, it's a card holder. It's a card holder. So yeah. it's I'm in the black pebble leather one with the gold YSL on it. Yeah. Um, it's got I think two card pockets at the front, two at the back, and one bigger one in the center. Um, so I think it fits like probably can fit like eight cards in there yeah. or up. Um, so I think they cost around three hundred and twenty Australian dollars. Yes, roughly. Um, but they're again really good entry price point, and I think they're really great for having a key designer brand. Yes, but for a lower price point, I agree. Um, number seven, what piece do you think is overhyped? I feel like it's so interesting. I don't know. I, I feel like I know it's gonna like crush your feelings. I feel like Dionysus is overhyped. Not the one you've got. Yeah, I think a lot of them are overhyped. I feel like everyone's jumping on this Gucci train, which is great, but they're getting really obnoxious. It, like, Gucci is so cool, and I feel like it's amazing, but I don't see the purpose on spending $6,000 on a really wacky tobacco bag okay. in a really cool shape. I think actually the Gucci, the Gucci shoes more so are overhyped. Like, yeah. they're really nice. I've got my Gucci loafers with the, um, with the fur on them, and they're really awesome. They're great, but they're... They're too expensive. I think for what the Gucci shoes are with the know, with the yeah. pearls. That I mean, they're nice and they're very, but they're so trend focused, and it's not going to last you. Um, last question: What is next on your wish list? Me. <laughs> so I want, I don't know the exact name for it because it's kind of like a really generic name. It's a Wiser Satchel bag. It's called the Wiser Monogram Satchel bag in size medium. So it's like a big. It's quite similar to my, my Gucci similar, size. The same as the Gucci Dinosis black suede. So you've got a bit of like quilting through it with the YSL clasp and to flap over. Um, again, really expensive. Yeah. Um, so you're just saving for that. Yeah. So like on the forward in the US, it's for they got it for three thousand four hundred Australian dollars, which just like crushes my soul to think of how expensive that is. Um, but if you sell your Gucci shoes, it'll be it'll help. Yeah. So but then um they are available on Farfetch. The bag is um, for two thousand seven hundred dollars. So I think literally just because it comes from Europe rather than America, it's, it's much cheaper. cheaper. Yeah. And then we've got a five hundred dollar voucher with Farfetch, um, which is great. So I'll probably put my Christmas money and birthday money towards that and get that for the new year because it's a good sort of work bag. Um, and yeah, so I love it. Yeah, I don't know what I have next on my wish list. I think I'm not really wanting anything specifically. I just bought as well the white side card holder, which I didn't want. But I think for now. I do really want to buy actually a small bag similar to this one here but with gold oh, hardware yeah. and I know that the Valentino Rockstar um, bag is quite a similar size mm. so I'm thinking maybe something like that but not too sure yet exactly. Did you say why is that Rockstar? Valentino Rockstar? Yeah, I was like, hang on a second here. My bad. What is it about myself? The Valentino Rockstar one, it's like this big-ish and it's really Yeah, so we just shot it with Louise for our collab with Louise Vero. So yeah. I can link that below, below so I can see that. Yeah. Um, it's beautiful. So I do want one that size, but I'm not really in a hurry right yeah, now. Yeah, we're not really like, again, we love the look of stuff things. And they're so pretty and so like special, but we're not like, we need this and this, mm. this and this and this. We'd rather just like save for three, six months, get something really special and that'll kind of, and get little bits pieces here and there. Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, that's kind of it. That's kind of it. Yeah, so guys, don't forget, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below. We're doing, trying to do two or three videos a week. Yeah. And apart from that, we'll see you later. Thanks guys. Bye. Bye.